Alrighty folks, welcome back to a bit more Farming Simulator 2013 and you guessed it, we're back with some more canola but what we'll be doing differently this episode is we'll be back to the longer ones I don't really care if we get a canola grape demand we'll just have to wait it out until we do because the silos can manage your crop for about 50 or so days or more so that's not really worrying us because that's ages and ages away nothing too much to worry about but what we'll do is we'll invest in some sheep and cows. Even though I'm not completely ready for cows yet, I'm almost ready for sheep. But even though I'm not completely ready, we'll still invest in them. So this harvester can keep on going. Actually, maybe we should go ahead and drop the crop off first. To make it... How much are we going to have now? Alright, because we have that typical... The cars unfortunately disappear after a while. Which is no fun. But what I've been doing is... I want to get ready, oh, well, I have been getting ready to do mod episodes, but I still haven't really learnt too much on console command. As you can see, I've uh, enabled it, so all I have to do is press the tilde key, but I don't know any of the codes, and I've tried a couple of the codes to get rid of the user interface, so it's just the game, as, as in it's just the car driving on just the background and stuff, without the PDA and the petrol symbols and all that stuff. Uh, that doesn't work. I don't know the code for it. Uh, it would be a great help if someone could tell me it because that would really, really help me out. Uh, but apart from that, haven't really been doing too much. Still haven't hit a canola great demand and probably going to get to almost 200,000 litres. So what's that going to be? About 260,000 litres of canola. Voila. Wow. That's pretty scary to think about. <laughs> That's a lot. That's like a... Well, that's 260 tons, so I guess it's not that much. It's still a lot, but... Okay. So, I could go ahead and seed. Oh, talking about that seeder. Okay, is this guy is doing all good? Yes, talking about this seeder, let's go ahead and... The top comments for last episode was... In caps, so I guess you guys were angry at me. But, uh, to go ahead and maybe see if you can fertilize with the seeder and fill up with uh, fertilizer. I did try to come up here, I'm just stuck now, but it, you, there's no option to fill it up. And plus, if you check on the bottom right, it only shows how many seeds you have. There's no option for fertilizer down there either. So, that really sucks. No matter what I try to do, it just doesn't work. It, well, it's just me, like, going up to some random tree. There's no real functionality of the fertilizer with this cedar, which is great sadness for me. Now, this guy, thankfully we have fertilized this canola crop, which is all good. But what I think I'll do is I'll get rid of this uh, tipper. And firstly, we'll go to the shop. So, animals are down over this way. Oh, let's have a... Okay, so it's the same stuff. I could go ahead and get a baler. It's only 15% though. So, nothing too amazing. Let's go back. Animals, okay. So, by... Ooh, we'll buy 20 sheep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There you go. I've just proven to you that I can count. Let's try to do this. Let's buy 10 cows. Okay. So as you can see, they barely take up any money. Oh, what? We bought 18. What? Maybe I can't count properly. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Uh, maybe we should also buy a heck of a lot more chickens because that costs pretty much nothing. So what you have to do in in hard mode if you want to be a poultry farmer, you have to buy about I think it's like five thousand five hundred. So you're going to be sitting here clicking for quite a while if you do that. All right, I'm gonna, let's wait until we get to fifty thousand dollars. Going to be clicking for quite a while. This should speed up things a heck of a lot more because we had six eggs before. I mean, six chickens. See, my mind's going blank because we're cooking for so long. It's 224 chickens. Wait, so let's go back to this guy. Let's go to the chickens now. Let's see how many they actually render out. I think there's a. Yeah, there's noticeably more than six. So this is the maximum amount that you can have. That's actually quite a lot. Quite happy with that. Uh, what we'll do is, because we're playing it real time, let's just go to statistics. Check the egg statistics. So there's seven right now. Let's see how quickly that rises up. 
right, let's go back to the vehicles. This guy. Now, let's go to the sheep. So, sheep, I've got no idea where they are. I'm pretty sure that, well, we're going to go this way, sorry. I just want to check the sheep out, not really do too much, because, actually, what I could invest in, well, I need a new tractor, and then we could go get some foraging things. Actually, maybe I could buy some foraging things here. There we go. Dual purpose forage wagon. Loading and transporting grass, hay, straw, or chaff. This is quite decent. So I think this is exactly the same. Yeah, except it's just larger. So we'll get the larger one. Okay. So you know what time it is? It's time to sell some canola, even though it's not really the best time to do it. Um, what tractor should I use? That's a good question. Let's use this one. Actually, no, we should use that really good, quick one. Where's the new one? There we go. Just standing there around fertilizer doing absolutely nothing. There we go, we've got two cars waiting up on us. <laughs> so yeah, if someone would... Oh, there we go, one disappeared right in front of us. But if someone did know the console command to get rid of the user interface, I would absolutely love you. It would be a great big help. Or even better, I've been checking forums and I have not been able to... Uh, see a console command list. You'd think there'd be something up, but unfortunately not. And thanks to all you guys who actually read the descriptions completely. Uh, this tipper has a conveyor belt at the bottom. So thank you for that. I missed that because I don't want to read too much in this Let's Play. After all, this isn't a text based game. <laughs> we do want to play around and drive around as slowly as this vehicle is. Like, I could have, I know many of you guys did complain about me buying this uh, tractor, but I don't really care about the uh, power of it. All I really care about for most of them is just for them to be able to go ahead and, and do all the, like, farming jobs really well. We can also take uh, some fuel over here, which is nice. Instead, instead of just being there for looks, we can actually use it. So it's functional. Clearly a big sale going on. Let's go ahead and before we... Oh, should we went back to prices. Okay, so how about our speed time up just a little bit? I'm sure our cropper... Or harvest... What did I say cropper? Oh, pressing console commands too much. Yeah, so what I'll have to do is actually, because he'll run into that tree. Oh, and you hit, okay. Well, we're in quite a pickle right now. Actually, maybe no, we're not. So I still have this tractor, and we have still this tipper. Still lying about. Let's see if we'll actually be able to, maybe I should go. This, this tractor reverses really slowly, so let's go forward. Maybe we'll be able to harvest all the canola just in time. Thankfully, it's not much that's left. But we still want to make the best use of it out of all of it. So, canola prices went down. So I'd want, oh, this is a fantastic price, so <laughs> that just slowed down time just a little bit. 2,420 is a good price, we want to make use of it. In the meantime, we can keep driving with you, even though you're going to take your time. No, don't, no, 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 this isn't meant to be. Oh, thank you. Um, what the hell is the AI doing? No, don't think about it. Thank you. Alright, now where are we off to? Are we even going the, the right direction? We need to go more to the right. Alright, so as this guy's going down that hill, we need to move this tipper quick smart. And this guy's going to get stuck on that tree. I suppose I can remove the trees on a job. Oh, there we go. He actually did his job properly. 
this time. But you can get rid of the trees, I've heard, on uh, the Giants map editor. So I'll have to give that a try. Hopefully I don't screw up the map and this Let's Play will have to end. But I always keep a backup save. And talking about saves, from this episode on, I will be uh, putting a media fire link onto my game save so you guys can download the game save if you haven't played as far as I have and you just want the the plays the same with the same machines and all that stuff so that's not going to be a hassle I think we're going in roughly the right direction well wow, we've got 31 eggs now wow now this would have been a good time to keep a, uh, a Kramer yes a Kramer because that would have enabled us to uh, put a Kramer onto a egg selling point and we'll just be able to tab to it, sell eggs, go back to the chicken pen and do that. Hmm. Ah, I see where we are now. Okay, we went a bit too much north. So let's go ahead and go through the biogas plant, which is a really late game. Well, I guess we could have invested in it, but I want potatoes. Potatoes and sugar beets are what's really new in this game and the new machinery. Well, the new machinery is what costs the most. Apart from the windmill. That gives us as well $4,000 an hour. An in-game out. So, you can, what you could do is just go to buy a... If, once you've saved up for a million dollars. Which I'll probably have a million dollars if I had a great demand for canola. And sold, sold all of it off. What you could do is just buy a windmill or a solar generator, whatever it's called. You leave it on 120 times speed with no fields plowed or uh, harvested, or sowed, sorry. And then you just leave it on overnight, speed it to 120 times an hour, and you would be making so much money. Oh, mate, I wouldn't even want to think about it. I think one hour lasts about 30 seconds. Yeah, one hour lasts 30 seconds in 120 times speed. So every 30 seconds you'd be making four thousand dollars so let's think about this mathematically so every minute in real time if you're playing it 120 times is eight thousand dollars so say you sleep for wait what's uh i don't even want to think about it, it just hurts my head eight thousand times sixty is how much you're making in an hour which is what four hundred eighty thousand dollars or something well math is probably way off too many zeros but yeah you'd be making a lot is what I'm trying to get at. Alright, so, oh wait, there's a new hour that went past, has it? No, no, because we're playing it real time, that's why it's going so slow. And that is a lot of money. Almost going to be a $200,000. <laughs> wow! That's a lot more than I'd expected. There's a conveyor belt, radio. That's actually quite ingenious. Oh, it's actually still moving. Does it continuously move? Oh, no, it's just when we're right, unloading. Okay, I see that. Now, let's go ahead and bring them back because there's no way we're going to be driving back. It's taking us too long. There we go. Now, what's happening? You're all done. So, let's speed time up back up again. But two hundred thousand dollars. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing that with that two hundred thousand. Now, because you're, yeah, we don't need you. I'll actually now drive to the sheep. So sheep are down this way. I'm pretty sure. Let's just go ahead and check them out. And oh, actually, I'm going to buy. <laughs> this is what I wanted to buy. Firstly, um, the a dual purpose forage wagon. Let's buy that. Okay. And talking about that, actually, we'll go ahead and see. So we'll ne we'll never get to sheep by if we keep on going like this this episode. Uh, what I want to do is I want to attach this ton if I'm able to. You know, just drive over it just normally. What we'll have to do is do some magic to it. Damn it, I can't see it. It's not there for us to use it or replace it back. Hopefully I'll be able to do something now. Oh, 
What if I knock it? Ah, oh, there we go. I had the option. No, no. Oh. Maybe that was... No, that would have been a cult spider, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, we got it. Okay, so what I'll do... This is my goal. To go to field 30... No, no, it's not field 30. It's whatever... Well, firstly, we want to switch to grass, which is this. And then what we want to do is, with this guy, we'll go to the sheep and cows, wherever they may be. Actually, I think sheep are to the west. We'll wait and see until it pops up on the map. What we could do as well is... I'm not going first person mode because that makes me nauseous. But no, actually, wrong button. I want to press B to lift it up. No, that turns it on. What button do you press to follow the saw X? This is how you're actually meant to drive with it. Ah, so the sheep are to the west and cows are to the right. So, field 38, or actually, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll go to field 35 first. We'll go plant the grass, and you only need to plant grass once. Because once you've planted it once, from memory, if it's like 2011, then it'll just keep on regrowing after a certain time after you've cut it. So that'll be nice. We're playing 120 times because we're not sowing anything, we're not waiting for any crops to grow or harvesting anything. And we are waiting on the canola great demand. So I guess this is the way through these mountains. Wasn't there a, uh, a tunnel underneath here somewhere? Anyway, so we have to buy this field, which definitely won't be much. It's extremely small. Let's actually get this guy just ready. There we go, there's some cows. That's nice, there's actually many different textures of cows. And all, all the same color, which I think is new as well. Uh, yes, 22 grand, thank you. same sound effects okay so we are supposed to give the hay and the grass for the cows over here I need to learn how to properly utilize the cows and the sheep because they've completely changed it from last game all they needed was grass, was grass last game so let's lower this and fold this hire a worker to do his own deeds Oh, this guy's gonna like keep on jumping about like last time, isn't he? Oh well. Hopefully, yeah, I think this is the grass that I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is. So it'll grow properly really quickly. Because grass is pretty much a weed in this game, it just grows extremely quick. Um, oh, you have a bit of. Okay. Let's get you ready. Actually, because we have that new forage wagon, we should also drop that down here. Okay. And actually, we should drop you back. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get the other tractor to get the forage wagon with him. And then we'll just keep him where the cows are. For the time being. At least. This episode, and maybe a bit longer. Because I just want a canola great demand. It's been a while since we've actually had a great demand. We should get one this episode. Okay, you've unloaded. Mm -hmm. That is massive. That forager. It's going to clean up stuff pretty well. Actually, what I would do want to try is actually, no, not go to here. Well, well, that's awkward. If you press zero and P at the same time, then the horde is on for the whole time. But what I want is if we go to... No, we want to go machine type. And no, not mowers. We want to get a windrower because these guys put um, like the rows of grass into one row so it's a lot easier to forage. And it's Hatter makes, yeah, drying grass to hay. The real hits for Tedding. Okay, so that makes hay. 
Whereas this enables us to make the grass a lot easier to forage. We'll go ahead and get this. 12 and a half meters wide, so we'll just save up a lot of time and we do have the money for it. Like, this is a problem when I record. I just spend and splurge and <laughs> buy so many things that I probably don't really need. Wow, this is actually a lot bigger than I had thought it would be. Maybe we wouldn't be able to drive with this. Let's go ahead and try so this is going to be really weird to drive the both of these things. Let's just reverse. Uh, how about I unfold you? Maybe this will help a little bit. No, you're going to magically unattach, aren't you? No, it wasn't meant to be. Sorry. We'll come back for you, though. Don't worry. What we need as well is a mower. Talking about mowers, what we could do is... Get a mower which can be attached to the front. Yes, with the front mounted drum mowers. Oh, no, no, drum mowers. Is that when we have a drum on? Oh, I don't know. First world problems. We could get. Oh, this is on sale as well. Because all crone items are on sale. Ah, decisions, mate. $300,000. Should we get it? Like, I'm thinking we should now. How much is canola selling for? at the end, not that much. Now, it'd be much better if we just saved it up. Let's not buy too many things this episode that we probably don't really need. So what I'll do is just get... Um, let's get this. Okay, and tell it to come back. I just mount it on the front. It should work. A-OK. -okay. Oh, God. So it's weird because some utensils, some machines, uh, are mounted... Oh, actually, no, this is mounted from the... Okay, that's good. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at is some are... Um, the way they spawn over here is that some are able to be mounted, like, from this way, which is the right way, but some are really weird, and they're not able to yet be actually properly mounted. Now, we're stuck now, which is no good. I make this so much harder than it should ever be. Let's do that. There you go, I can see a bit of green. That's good. Okay. Why do I make this so difficult on myself? Yeah, <laughs> so as you can see, this field is extremely small. We're cutting it down in no time. Now. Oh no. Well, at least what we can do is now put the mower on. At least attempt to, which is. Why do I keep on thinking you have to mount it that way? I'm a weirdo. Oh, this is actually quite interesting. It actually still unfolds. I thought it came unfolded. Like one just piece of machine. That's weird. We should be able to put this on. I don't see why not. There we go. Just go through the windrower a bit. And there we go. Hey presto. Off to the cows we go. To our newly seeded grass. Oh, filled auction number 18. Where's number 18? That's near us, isn't it? Oh, we hit the max amount of eggs. Oh, that's not really a surprise. Field 18. Ah, that's going to be a fantastic place to... Okay. So what we'll do, it's fantastic because... Firstly, hopefully we'll have enough money for it. That could be a bit of a problem. I think we will because it's a small field and... The... Yeah. The auction's really... Oh, great demand for corn. I've had about 50 million great demands for corn. Only one for canola. What is this blasphemy? Now, let's go ahead and go into our first auction. Oh, really? For $57,000, this field. This field's only like the field that we just bought before. Really? Whatever, we'll buy it normally. That's the way they want to be, that's the way they want to be. It's their own problem. 
their loss. This would be a fantastic feel for potatoes, but I thought we'd be getting potatoes by now. The game's deciding to screw that idea up. So I'll go ahead and do this. Be able to feel, feed the cows and sheep a little bit, so we'll be able to make a bit of profit from them. Uh, sheep are actually quite easy. Once you have the pallet fork with the front loader, all you have to do is deliver back and forth some pallets. But what I'll do is I'll get a, a transporter, like a proper um, thing on the back so it can place as many pallets on the back, is what I want to get at. Now, there's no real reason that Field 35 exists apart from being used for grass. Uh, let's go ahead and firstly check out if we can use this tunnel. Because maybe it will take us to Field 35 immediately. No, it seems like it's just blackness. Unless it just magically teleports us. Which I doubt it would. Yep. Oh wait, it's in show you a train. I've not seen a train go through here at all. Even though I haven't been looking at this much at all. But I remember back in 2011, no, no. If you guys remember that, there was this little bridge very far away over these mountains in between a valley. And there was a train that used to go by every few minutes. That was a nice little touch. I don't think anything like that's here. There's also no... There's no... Uh, chairlifts. Which is quite disappointing. It would be nice for like a massive chairlift or something from one end to the other end. Great demand for barley. They're hitting us with all these great demands, but nothing that we need. So I've just been using all my time on Kanala. Oh well, not much I can do about that. The grass is definitely ready. And thankfully grass never withers away. So let's go ahead and change tools. We can't hire... Oh yes, that's right. You can't hire workers with this, so you have to do this manually. Oh wait, the grass hasn't grown yet? That's serious. Maybe, does the grass grow in stages as well? It actually seems like it does, let's see. The grass grows in stages. <laughs> what is this? Really? Wow, I would have never known that it grows in stages. That's kind of weird. But okay, we'll take it for what it is. Uh, what's this guy doing? He's done. So maybe we should go ahead and drive over to yeah, what we'll do is we'll drive over to the sheep, check them out. Oh, I'm just really angry there's no great demand for oh, Let's just see how much it's selling at. Oh, it's just 1.6 times anyway. Nothing too good. Chuck a left. Actually, maybe I do have a bit of canola. I might. Yeah, we do. Sorry. The barley, sorry. Derp, derp to derp. Alright, so what we'll do is, let's see, we don't have any tractors. Really? Okay, then it'll have to be this guy that'll have to carry the massive tipper. Well, I guess he can't really call it a tipper, but... We'll have to go ahead and make use of this barley. Right, let's see how much... Don't use your mobile phone and drive kids. 2129. Okay. Now, where is the SIGA? Whatever it's called, SIGA Duo. Pretty sure this is what it's called. I wouldn't be surprised if this tractor will actually struggle to carry it, but. Oh. Let's see if we can just do like this. Nope, that won't work. Fantastic, and put it on. All right, it seems like it's handling it just perfectly. So we could go ahead and get some eggs, which I think I'll do. Yep, we'll do. Look at all his eggs and the chickens. So the, these eggs are just a waste of time, unless you're playing on hard mode, and uh, well, it's guaranteed money because you don't really need to feed them. They barely cost anything. 
I wonder how much they actually cost now, because we were still paying a bit of um, maintenance for them. Hopefully me moving about like an idiot isn't giving you a headache, which we wouldn't want. I'll just collect this little bits. Okay, that's good enough. Now, let's go get some barley, and in the meantime, check the eggs. There's still 42 eggs. Really? We collected barely any. Oh, eggs. That's eggs carrying. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to say... Oh, is this is that snow or hail? That's not rain. That's like snow. So in five days, days time, you might actually snow. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and start going over there. Okay, so what I think I'll do, well, actually, you guys can come ahead and see me sell this. Forty percent of this tipper as well. That more than fill up the other tipper that we have, the bigger one. This is just perfect. Agro line art. Okay, thankfully I'm pretty sure that's the mill, isn't it? Yeah. Bali always sells well at the mill, so that's not going to be a worry for us. We're going to be making lots of money pretty quickly, because it's not too far away. It's just this hill that's going to kill us. See how much time I've actually played. i played a lot. A day. I've played a day so far. Mind you, that is without tabbing and stuff. And when I've been harvesting, waiting for the field to grow out. To harvest it. Okay, so it's all smooth sailing from now on. Actually, I wonder if this kind of tipper will be able to fit in the mill. So I do know the mill is a bit pressed for space. They don't give us much space at all to go ahead and deliver the goods. We've driven a hundred. I don't know. Miles. 100 miles. Yeah, I've had a lot of problems with the game. Like, I'm not impressed with how they... Like, how it's just a new game. I, I wouldn't really call this... A, if it was any type of other game... So, if, if they did this with Call of... Well, they pretty, pretty much do this with Call of Duty. But, well... Actually, no, not really. This is worse than what they do with Call of Duty. It just... If it, what I would... If, like, any other game. Like, Anno 2070. With the deep ocean. That is what, like, that was a patch. Well, not a patch, but there was a downloadable content. It was a big downloadable content, but it was downloadable content. This, I would call it downloadable content for 2011 as well. All it's really given us is some new vehicles. Like, it was, albeit it's a lot more new vehicles. Like, it would be a massive DLC, but not a new game. It doesn't really change any of the graphics, any of the gameplay mechanics majorly. Like, they just tweaked it a little bit, just made it, made a couple of things a little bit harder. But all in all, I wouldn't really call this a new game, to be quite honest with you. Okay, so, now that we've made good use of that, we should go ahead and tab our way to this guy. To go ahead and check the sheep before this episode will end. Actually, I'll need to go ahead and check the map out. Yes, field 18 is for sale, for auction, I know. Actually, I do have enough money to buy it, so maybe we could buy it, but yeah, whatever. I can just save my time up and I just want to go ahead and check the sheep out. That's what's most important to me. Maybe next episode, if we choose to, which I, don't, I think I'll go ahead and pay a little bit by myself, I'll come back. Once we finally get a canola great demand, we should speed up time just in case we get this like this episode. Which I doubt it, but I think you could also turn the windscreen wipers on. There's a small field.
So he says, supposedly, like, the storyline... Oh, oh, God. This is all good. So supposedly there's a storyline behind this is that this is a whole town, like a village. But really, it's not. We just own everything. We just need to buy it. Well, we don't own everything. But we need to buy it. But it's made specifically for us because there's all these random garages and... You, you know it's made for us. <laughs> there's no one else that's... Well, supposedly there's other people that buy these fields, but... You know that no one else is really owning those fields. Okay, so here are the sheep. Ooh. That's interesting. We've got a couple of different colored sheep. Maybe they're males? See, I'm, I'm not really too knowledgeable in all the farm lingo. So let's go ahead and maybe buy this field as well. See how much it will cost first. We get a bit of grass growing. Oh really? $185,000? Wait, so you're charging me $185,000 for this field, but... Field 17 cost only $100,000, really? Okay, well, whatever you say. We'll be back, guys, with another episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed this much lengthier one than the previous couple. And, well, we'll be back. Thanks for watching.